you're thinking about learning machine learning, then definitely watch this video first because there is a crap ton of hype out there about how great machine learning is, AI and data scientists. And I'm not here to say that that's not true, but I am here to share some of the insider insights into the field that people don't share online. And the machine learning field definitely has its drawbacks. In this quick video, I'm gonna share with you the top four reasons not to learn machine learning. And excuse me for any background noise or distractions. I'm coming to you today from Sala Resort in Koh Samui, Thailand simply because my house was this construction going on around the house and I couldn't use my my office there. So I came here instead. And for the very best data leadership and business building advice, be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to be notified when a new episode drops each week. Also, I just want to give a huge shout out to the community. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all of the comments and all of the love and all of the content requests. It really does a lot towards building the community here that I'm, I'm trying to nurture along in YouTube. So thank you so much and please keep them coming. And as far as why I'm qualified to say anything about machine learning, I've been working in the data science field full-time since 2012 and I have educated over 1.3 million people on machine learning, data science, and topics like data strategy. So I know a thing or two about machine learning. And if you're new around here, hi, I'm Lillian Pearson and I support data professionals to becoming world-class data leaders and entrepreneurs. Don't worry, this is not a gripe session on machine learning or data science, nor is it clickbait. For these three reasons, I am not only going to be providing you every evidence of why this, why they're a problem for data professionals, but I'm also going to be providing you pointers or tips for overcoming those problems, especially if you're already doing machine learning for a living anyway. And just to show good faith and explain and show how I'm definitely not dissing data science or machine learning, I want to tell you some incredible ways that learning machine learning has changed and revolutionized the quality of my life and career so far. Number one is there are pretty much limitless career opportunities available to you if you know machine learning, both as an employee, a freelancer, or an entrepreneur. By the way, a lot of people don't know that being a data entrepreneur is also an option with data science and machine learning skills. So if you'd like to learn more about the three types of superheroes in the data field, I invite you to take my fast fun 45 second quiz called the data superhero quiz. I'll leave a link to it in the description below, but moving on to awesome point number two about learning machine learning. Another great thing about learning machine learning is that it's pretty affordable to do so. There's tons of low cost or free courses and books online that are available to you. So you don't have to spend an arm and a leg getting a degree in order to learn machine learning. And if you already have a STEM degree, it's actually pretty easy to learn machine learning because you've already taken, you know, probably several years of calculus and statistics. So learning machine learning from there is pretty darn simple. But lastly, you know, in the future, in the near future, I wish it was this way now, but data literacy is going to be a requirement for all types of knowledge workers, not just data professionals. And so if you at least learn machine learning and how it works, at least you will have covered that base. So I'm not trying to say that learning machine learning or doing data science is bad, but I am going to share with you four things about the field that no one ever tells you about. And I really think that they should. The number one thing about learning machine learning is it takes a really, really long time to get good at it. And that's just because machine learning is super complicated. Not only do you have to be a good coder, a good developer, you also have to be pretty darn sophisticated with applied mathematics and statistics. It's easy to you know, work through a few courses and learn the basics of machine learning algorithms, but actually bringing them into production and applying those to solve business problems is a whole, it's a whole nother thing. Just like programming and being a software engineer, you could just spend, I've seen guys that like invented Deep learning libraries and then you know 20 25 years in saying i'm still not a data science expert i'm still not a machine learning expert so what i'm saying is you know it's competitive and it takes a really long time to get good the solution to this then is not if you say oh, okay i want to learn machine learning i'm committed i'm ready to go the long haul you can get in there and be like wow okay this is intense you can still take that same machine learning expertise and apply that expertise to create value in different ways beyond just coding so you have to really start early look at what what is your calling within your career within the data space? So if you want to be an implementation person and you want to be building solutions, then yeah, just expect it's going to take several years. But if you want to be, say, a leader, a product manager, an entrepreneur, you don't need to spend a decade getting good at machine learning in order to make those happen. Do you need to know machine learning? I would say, yeah, that's a good idea. You need to get the base covered, but you don't need to be an expert at machine learning in order to become an expert in other areas of the data professions and of data science 
overall. I would love to hear from you. Tell me in the comments below, how long have you been working in the data professions and what do you do? I promise I will reply back. Another thing about the data science field. Okay, you could go into a whole coding course. Heck, you could go get a data science degree, all of that and you still may not be able to land a job as a data scientist. The obvious thing is most people think, okay, I go to school, I learn something, so then I can get a job and make money, right? That's the standard go-to. But in the data science field, it doesn't really work out that way, unfortunately. So people go get these data science degrees and then they end up joining you know, a course to teach them. There's like, that's why you see online, get a job in data science as like someone started a business for this because just having machine learning skills doesn't get you a, data, a job as a data scientist. So what I would say for the solution for this one is just don't expect that you're gonna be a data scientist if you learn machine learning. If you already have a STEM degree, you don't need to go get another degree in data science because data science really, if you look at Drew Conway's definition of data science, one third of it is subject matter expertise. It doesn't really make sense. If you don't have a STEM degree, then maybe getting a job in data science is your next is your, is your segue into working as a data science scientist or working in the field of data science. Um, I would say steer clear of data science degrees unless you don't have a STEM degree. Third reason um, that I would say it's not that awesome to do machine learning is that in my opinion, from my perspective, coding and data science implementation work is not all that quote unquote sexy. So back in 2012, Harvard came out with, oh, data scientist is the sexiest job of the 21st century. You know, it's cool. It's definitely a powerful skill set. It's machine learning and AI are definitely changing the world. And I definitely want to be part of that. But you have to look at your personality. This comes back really to, to leadership and the different types of personality. So some people want to make an impact and they feel called to make an impact on a positive impact on the world through technology. My husband's like that, but they don't want to deal with people, right? Then others of us want to make a positive impact on the world, but we feel led to make that impact through people. If you are like me and are more drawn to people and helping people, then getting a job implementing machine learning is not going to be making you happy. If you're drawn to helping people, machine learning probably isn't for you because it's not going to satisfy that inner need um, where you feel like you're satisfied that you've helped someone, right? And so that's why I say implementing machine learning for people like me, it's not sexy. But people like my husband who love to code, they don't want to deal with people. They don't want to build a business. They don't want to manage a team. They want to build solutions in code. And it's sexy as hell, right? You make, make boatloads of money and um, just build machine learning models all day. And that's cool. The solution to this really is, again, looking at what you want to do. What is your calling? And yeah, you need to learn machine learning. Have your end goal in mind of like, what are you actually going to do with it? And learning machine learning doesn't necessarily mean you're going to be a data scientist and implementing data science all the time. It may mean you're going to do like what I did. I learned data science. I learned machine learning. And then I educated people. I trained people around the world. I did data strategy. I impacted businesses by impacting people. So it just depends on your personality and no one ever tells you that. By the way, if you're enjoying this video on machine learning and maybe reasons you don't want to learn it, then I think you'll really like this video I did here. It's about the four different types of analytics and why they may or may not matter anymore in 2021. So I definitely encourage you to check that out when you get a chance. This brings me to the fourth and final reason you may not want to learn machine learning. And it's really just that learning machine learning may not take you where you want to go. So this is really a re-emphasis or built on the earlier point of that. I assume that if you're learning machine learning, you want to get a job in data science. You think you're going to be a data scientist. You think you're going to enjoy that because it's the sexiest job of the 21st century. But any one of those prior, of those three things could be, could be wrong. So could learn machine learning and then end up working at like a hedge fund where they have you working 60 to 80 hours a week and you know, it's high pressure and you definitely cannot mess up and you get paid a lot of money, but people are just not happy and not nice. I've seen people do that. And then they're like, wow, this money cannot buy back the happiness I've lost by taking, you know, by doing this. It's just not cool. I'm big on reverse engineering. So you have to figure out, like tapping into who you are as a person and figuring out, okay, what is it that I really, what is the impact I wanna have with my life? And what lifestyle do I wanna live? And how do I want to change the world? And then finding opportunities and roles that act as a vehicle or a path way by which you can do those things, have those things and be those things. And then once you've identified what that is, figure out the expertise and what you need in order to get there. Now, chances are, if it's in the data space, learning machine learning is going to be part of that. But becoming a data, you know, a machine learning expert and implementing for 15 years, not necessarily um, what's going to be on the bill of other types of data science rules. I would say just listen to your heart is <laughs> that um, doesn't sound too corny, but I mean it like start with a goal in mind and then figure out 
yeah, you want to learn machine learning, but how much do you need to know? And then just give a pulse on that. People who are, they want to make impact through technology, they are implementation people. People that want to make impact through people, they're usually the leaders or maybe entrepreneurs. And so those are the real three archetypes of data professionals I see out there. I did create a really fast 45 second quiz that it's fun and it helps you uncover, like kind of dig into your your personality and your skills. Uncover um, which of those archetypes you fall into and it then provides information on the roles that are available within those archetypes as well as compensation and all of that. So I'll leave a link to it in the description below. And what I would say with learning machine learning is yeah, go ahead and learn it. I've created like six courses, six books and eight courses that teach machine learning. So I mean, I love machine learning, but I would caution you that you just want to start with your goal in mind and then work backwards. I hope you've enjoyed this video. We have a free Facebook group. It's called Becoming World Class Data Leaders and Entrepreneurs. And I would love to see you in there and get to know you. I'll leave a link to it in the description below. I'll so I would love it if you would just show this video some love by giving it a thumbs up and tell me in the comments below where are you exactly in your machine learning journey.